Hello to you and thank you for watching my video. As always, please like and subscribe and if you have any questions or would like me to cover something in greater depth or cover something I have not, please put it into the comments. Today I'm going to go over how to add a certificate using Active Directory Certificate Ser Services to your PHPI PAM server. This was a request from one of the viewers. To begin with, I'm assuming a few things here. One, you already have a, C, a local CA, and in my case, I'm using Active Directory uh, Services 2019 server in my test lab. And you should be able to see it right there. Uh, also, that you have an active and working PHP IPAM running on Rocky Linux 9.3. Also, that you have Mod SL oops, uh, installed. Let me reactivate this session. And to install Mod SSL, Mod SSL. You want to type dnf-y install mod SSL and oh, it's not installed on my machine. Hold on. Okay, and we now have mod SSL installed. And finally, for you have created a DNS entry. In my case, PHP IPAM TTGG on my local server here uh, so as to so to get SSL enabled for our website uh, we're going to need to generate a certificate request and then have a CSR so we have to do a few things here um, I want to create some new ones here those were tests so I use a web page called a generator, sorry, that allows me to do the advanced uh, subject alternate names. And the reason I do this is it's easier and it's just quicker for me. And this is in my test lab. So I'm going to paste in a few of these settings. Um, let's see. I need to put in my organization name. Uh, organization unit, uh, an email address. This is all pretty standard stuff. Uh, and then down here in the DNS subject alternate name, I'm going to add my server name, my local domain name, as well as my server's IP address. I believe it's 29, but I'm gonna double check real fast here. Where is this? Yes, it's 1029, very good. So then you scroll down to the bottom and hit generate. Now I'm only gonna grab the CSR and the private key. So let me get this guy, the CSR. And let me oh, get rid of that. So I have it. I have it in. See, I have the certificate request here, and um, you want to make sure there's no spaces and stuff. So uh, in the first one, and then I'll grab the private key, and I'll put that in this one, and then I'm going to go to my certificates folder. Now, I may already have some in there, but let me see here. I put them in here, certificates. Okay, so we want to call this PHP IPAM. I already have it there. No, looks like I already have some files in here. Let me get these cleaned up real fast. Okay, so we want to call this the CSR. That's a certificate request. So I'm going to save that there. And then for this guy, this one's the key file. So we want to call it, and I 
make your life simple. Do that and just make it key. Okay, so now that we have our certificate request and our key, we got to convert this into a valid domain uh, key. So to do that on this local server, I'm going to request a certificate. I'm going to go to advanced and then I'm going to go back here and I'm going to make sure I got the right one there. I'm going to grab all of that. I'm going to put it in there to that box. I'm going to change this to web server and then I'm going to hit submit. Then I want to download this as a base64 and download the certificate. And this is going to come into my downloads folder. And I'm going to cut that. And I'm going to go to my documents folder where I have these certificates. And I'm going to hit paste. And now I'm pretty much done with this. So now that I have this certificate. I want to keep my naming convention. So I'm going to rename so I'm going to copy my name. I'm going to paste it in to there. So now these two files I need for my server. So I'm going to take these two files. And I'm going to go back to my webmin here. And I'm going to go to Tools. And I'm going to go to File Manager. And then, oh, that's convenient. I am going to go to etc pki tls certs and what i'm going to do is i'm going to do a file upload into this folder of these two files and i'm just going to simply drag them into there hit upload now that i have these two files in here i'm going to go up to httpd under the etc folder right and then in here, conf D. And what I am going to do now is, now that I have the files, I need to create a configuration file. So I'm going to go to create new file, which is going to auto prompt me. And what I'm going to now do. I'm a, because I've already created the file, hopefully I created this correctly. Oh, I can already see I made a boo-boo. Let me fix that real fast. I'm going to copy and paste into this the actual file that I'm using here. And if I can, there we go. Get this a little bigger for you. So as you can see, I'm saying my host is phpipam ttg i have all these settings you can see that i have my certificate uh, i'm not going to use this right now um, as you can see i have that i have the name of the server hopefully this is clear enough i'm going to see if maybe i can paste this somehow into the youtube channel um, so i'm going to hit close and now I'm going to go into SSL. And there's two things I need to load into here on line 85 and 93. So I need to tell it where my certificate is. And so I'm going to do this TD-CR. And I also have to tell it where my key file is. Now, I know some of you might be looking at what I did with the key file and whatnot. Um, I'm only showing you how to get this up and running. Uh, for security, you need to lock down these keys and make it, I believe, 0600. So you can do that. Uh, should be aware of how to do that if you're doing this. So now I need to reset ser the service. Now if I come back here, this is not secure. So let's see if I go to HTTPS, what happens? And lo and behold, 
have a secure connection and it has a valid, a valid certificate. Um, well, that's pretty much the end, uh, I think, of putting how to put uh, and load a certificate using Active Directory Certificate Services. I want to thank you for watching my video and always please like and subscribe and add some comments of what you liked or what else you would like me to cover. Thank you and have a great day. Bye for now.